<laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Adina aka Mistress underscore Glam Fairy and I'm back today with some more random stuff. Uh, I don't ever script or plan my videos so I try to have something in mind to do and however it turns out that's how it turns out. So today's episode of randomness is going to be about three things. One is going to be, of course, my look of the day. Uh, another is going to be some kind of, sort of, almost dupes for a product. And then I'm also going to have a wig unboxing. I have not taken this out. I have never worn this wig before. So I'm not going to put it on today. I'm going to take pictures with it tomorrow because um, I haven't rebraided my hair up under here. And so I'm not going to take this wig off and scare everybody, including myself. So without further ado, let's get started. So today's look was uh, not inspired by my top. I just put this top on because I had something else on earlier and I wanted to wear something corally today. So that's why this look came together. It just so happened I pulled this top out of my closet a few moments ago uh, to wear to do this video. So how did I achieve this look you may ask? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, lips okay so whole bunch of products and um, I'm going to try to whiz through them as fast as I can so as usual I did my color correction foundation misting of the Victoria's Secret prime and set whatever the name of it is setting spray and then I went into doing my eyebrows which I always for the most part use this Salon Perfect Quad um, it has a dark brown uh, almost blackish color brown a taupe and then a highlight color which I've never used maybe I should start using it I'll think about it I think it's kind of shimmery I don't know how my comfort level with it maybe we could use it as a highlight mm, that's a good thing to think about let's do that I'll try that tomorrow and see how it turns out anyway back on point um, so I use that to do my eyebrows uh, I usually don't have to clean up too much except for right now my brows are growing in and I give them two weeks before I do any waxing so they're just like the little itty bitty fine hairs growing in right now that irritating part uh, before you know the waxing which takes me two weeks uh, so did my eyebrows then um, for my base I use this Bear Study by MAC and I did want to say something about um, my purchases I am kind of like on punishment because um, my bills are out of control. I'm not balling out of control like a lot of people who appear to be balling out of control on uh, YouTube or Instagram or whatever and I am not knocking their hustle or whatever the case may sound like it. I'm only referring to myself. So I try to be really smart about the products that I do buy so that they can be used in multiple ways. For example, this Bear Study. Since it's a frosty type of base and it's kind of light, I can use this to up the amp on any shimmery, frosty, pearl type eyeshadows. Or if I have a matte and I want to give it just that little extra little bit of frosting, I use this. The other paint pot, the only other one that I have by MAC is Painterly, which is a cream base there's no shimmer to it and I use that if I want to keep my uh, mattes or eyeshadows that don't have any type of shimmer to them that way so I was very pleased with buying these two because I have the a big selection of the color tattoo Maybelline color tattoo and a lot of them dried out really quickly my two MAC paint pots have not and so those if you're going to buy a base buy one that's going to last doesn't make sense to buy a whole bunch of them that aren't gonna last buy a couple that will do for a long period of time use them all up buy them again or make another selection but find something that's of a good quality so that you'll get the most use out of it instead of trying to re hydrate put them in a the microwave and all of that foolishness um, I just don't have time for that because in the morning I'm trying to hurry up and get out of the house so be really smart about your purchases especially if you're trying to not buy a whole lot of different products 
I hope whatever that was it just popped up on my screen saying that I'm on Wi-Fi doesn't come up on the video anyway after that I use this Milani Bella Mandarin eyeshadow and I put this on my lid so it was sort of like a spotlight color and I did have to touch up when I got home because it was like 90 degrees outside and I got stuck on a bus for an hour and with no air my face started sweating turned into a big mess so I did touch up a little bit just so I wouldn't look like a melted mess on the video okay so um, next I use this palette now this is not a sugar pill palette okay this is one of those stickers that I got when I bought one of my quad uh, I bought a set of quads from Sugar Pill and the reason I put it on this palette is because this is an eBay palette and so there were no names no titles or anything on it but once you see the inside you'll get an idea of why I put the Sugar Pill label on here these shadows are so intense and bright I love these and this is only like my fourth time using this palette because <laughs> The, the colors are so vibrant that they're really strong and you only need a little bit of them so what I did was after I patted on the um, sh the shadow from Milani on the center of my eyelid I went close to the outer V and the inner eye part with um, this color it's a little bit more orangey it's a little dark deeper orange so I built up the color with that then after I did that, I went in with MAC Brown Script, this color here. And you see it's got like a little orange hue to it, so it built, I used that to add a little more intensity to the look. And then to deepen the look even further, I used MAC Foley, which is a really, really deep chocolate brown. And uh, these two colors are two of my favorite for developing some depth on my eyeshadow looks. After that I went in with this hard candy uh, single shadow which is in infatuation and I used that as my brow highlight and then I used my trusty dusty cat eyeliner in black leather by Jordana. Someone on Instagram asked me how do I like these I love this. Um, after that I did my contouring is like I said before I don't hard contour and I showed you the products that I use for that to do my highlight I started out with this Milani glow bron baked bronzer and it didn't do what I really wanted I wanted some oomph to my glow today so after I did this I went in with this Nika K face and body shimmer it comes in a container like this and it has like a little puff. It's a mirror on the top. Sorry. It's a mirror on the top. And then it has a little puff, which really is kind of useless because by the time you start putting it on with the puff, it's actually wiping it off. But the product is in a screw cap like this. You can see it's loose powder. And some of it is in the little lid. So I just used my fan brush and tapped on there and built up my glow. So I hope you can kind of see. I'm kind of trying to turn my head so you can get an idea of the payoff the color payoff I was able to I really was happy with this look it was, it really gave me that kind of bronzy um, look that step kept with my coral eyeshadow application for my cheeks I use Coralina which is also a Milani product it's the baked blush with the marbling in it so that's what I used for my blush and uh, for my eyelashes I used the Better Than Sex Mascara which um, I'm going to do a product review on this the next video I do I'm going to do a product review on this I have some bad news about this good news and bad news but the bad news is what's really stuck with me so that's it for my look oh for the lips lips I used this cherry more um, I'm sorry when wild color icon lip pencil and I really think this is a gorgeous color even though it doesn't go anything with the stick that it's in but this one is in berry red and then I applied a covergirl lipstick which is in delight number 410 nice beautiful coral color and then for the middle 
part of my lip just to lighten the look up a little bit I use this uh, I believe it's bold pink and this is an LA colors lipstick you probably seen these with the pretty pink down here at the bottom so I use this just in the center of my lips just to brighten the look up a little so that was the look for today next I wanted to talk about some highlight what I use for highlight now I know quite a few of you have this um, Mary Luminizer would you get in focus please okay well it won't Mary Luminizer or highlighter and she is a beast I can say that I really love her she's super duper glowy shimmery no large flicks and flakes of glitter and she's creamy when I put her on I don't know if any of you had a chance to see my dupe that um, picture that I posted which was a I felt this wet and wild Fergie center stage collection to reflect shimmer palette in Hollywood Boulevard is in my opinion almost a better product than the ooh shut your mouth yes I said it a better product for the money especially than the Mary Luminizer uh, even though it has this kind of a brown and pink marbling to it all you get is the most gorgeous gold glow so what I'm gonna do right quick uh, and I want to show you just one, one other product the other product that I use to highlight with is a single by L'Oreal and this one is in Golden Sunset and like I said it's a single but I use this as a highlight as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch all three of them right quick just so you can get an idea of the uh, color payoff you know the intensity so first I'm gonna use the Mary Lou Luminizer so that's on my ring finger right there next I'm going to do the color icon Fergie center stage palette and I'll put that on my middle finger and then you can see the two of these I'm really hoping you can see this you see the two of these together see they're super duper close then I'm gonna do this one from L'Oreal um, and my I have this ring on my finger so I hope it doesn't mess up the the texture there's a little imprint on the uh, eyeshadow I don't want to mess that up but there's it is on my pointer finger so you can see the three of them together are very very similar and they have the same texture and the coloring are is the kind of golden champagne color so if you're looking for something to give you the same uh, seriously it's the same coloring it's the same highlighter um, you can use this L'Oreal Golden Sunset or this Wet n Wild Hollywood Boulevard much much cheaper I think this was $3.99 and I think I paid $4.99 for this single but it's so much product in here this is 0.1 ounce which is 2.8 grams and this is 0.4 ounces which is 11.3 grams and then the Mary Lou Luminizer is 0 0.03 ounces 8.5 grams so and I think I paid $24 you may be able to get this on eBay much cheaper but I'm just giving you an option of something that's even less expensive than those um, the, the Mary Luminizer okay so we did my look of the day I did the um, examples of some highlighters that you can use that are less expensive than the Mary Luminizer and now we're going to do my wig unboxing so I went to the beauty supply store and I got this girl here she was $39.99 her name is Haley and she is a deep invisible L part lace front so I'm going to take her out of the packaging and I did get her in a kind of a blonde color because in the summer I do like wearing more of a blonder color I, I think it looks real good especially when I get a tan so as you see it says deep invisible part and this is what the label the little front cover 
sheet looks like. So you can see on the wig, on the packaging, she has on a, a dark color wig, and it's supposed to have the deep um, invisible L part. Um, now I can't say about these wigs that I have bought them before that the deep invisible part means you can hardly see the part. Um, so what I had to do with the other one that I had that was similar, it was a different style but the same deep invisible L shape. I did have to go in and tweeze out some of the hair just so that you could see the part a little more. I'm going to take this um, hair net off so that you can see the underneath, the inside of the part, which you can see is really a deep L and it keeps getting caught on the little charm on my on my fingernail. But you can see the deep L right here. So I'm going to have to go in to the top part and tweeze out some of the hair along this part just so I can get a little more realistic look with the part on this. I really am loving this color so I'm hoping it's going to look nice. I did have them cut the lace for me and I like to have my lace cut a little bit deep so that when I wear it I can leave a little bit of my hair out along the edge um, and then that way it looks a little more realistic to me having my own hair out especially since the this particular model and even this one that I have on now doesn't have that baby hair look and I really don't particularly care for the baby hair look because it's usually just some short curly hairs and it looks like uh, pubic hairs. Uh, I did want to show you something. Look at this. Well, just look at this. What is this doggone mosquito? I'm walking to the bus and I felt it. It bit me. The little vampire bit me. And, oh, it's so itchy. I'm trying not to scratch it. I did take an uh, allergy pill last night, but I could tell this wearing off because my eyes are watering up again and I'm feeling start, starting to feel kind of icky. So, I'm about to go take my shower. It's kind of late in the evening. Uh, not that late. I'm probably going to go and watch a little bit of TV. And um, that's it for me. Did everything I said I wanted to do. I hope I didn't take a whole long time to do it. I hope everyone enjoys this video. And if you did, please thumbs up and um Leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you have some ideas for me? Something you would like for me to talk about? Uh, I know I'm kind of random. I kind of like it like that. I don't want to change. I want to stay me. Um, hope everyone has a great day. Be beautiful and wonderful. And please be good. Bye.